Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to customize your text module. So this is, oh, these are the designs that we're working towards. So here I just have a normal background color here. I also show you how to create that heading and the paragraph text. And here I also show you how to add this gradient. And finally over here on the bottom, I show you how to add this image in the background and that gradient as well. Now, if you're new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a bonus for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do after you've bought Divi, send me an email and I will give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you step-by-step step how I created this design using the text module. All right, so let's start by adding our text module. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this plus button and search for my text module and add it like that. So as you can see, this is really plain. So you wanna go in and first of all, change the font. So I'm gonna come over here. And for this, I'm gonna use Poppins. And I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. And then I'm also going to increase the line height so this is the rule of thumb. If you're working on, uh, on your text module, you wanna make sure that it's easy to read by uh, adding you know, some decent line height and also the size has to be great. So pretty much just by making those changes, this already looks you know, much different to how it is out of the box. So what you can do next is to add maybe a background color to this because maybe you're going for a different type of design. So let's go ahead and do that. So. I'm gonna click here on my row settings, click on my column background, and I can add my background color by just adding it like that. Now, as you can see, things don't look great because everything is way too close. So what you wanna do now is to go into that column and click on design, spacing, and you can add your padding just to give this text a bit of breathing space. So I normally go with 20 all around and just see how that looks. So I can see here, we may need to bump it up to about maybe 24. So I think that looks great. So when you use a dark background, you wanna make sure that your text is also light. So let's go back and fix that. So I'm gonna save that and then go back over here and click on design. And let's change our text color. So you can see that color actually works really well. And I can save. Now, as well as uh, just using your normal paragraph text, you can also add your headings. So this is how you can play around with the text module to achieve different types of designs. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and then go in and add a heading. So I'm just gonna say my heading and we're gonna set this to heading one. And then let's go and stylize our heading. So we're gonna change this to Playfair Display. And what we also need to do here is to change this to bold, change our color. In fact, for this, you know, you may even go with, uh, with white or a very light gray. In fact, you know what? Let's head over here and uh, use our colors from our color palette. All right, so now that we have this in place, let's increase our size and that's looking pretty cool. Now there's further items that you can do to this as well. So let's go in and uh, play around with more options. So if I come over here to my heading text, I can add a shadow. So let's play around with uh, maybe this style here. Now for that to show, it needs, oops. For that to show, we need to add our color for the shadow. So I'm gonna try and do, try and use that one there. Now you need to just play around with this and just make sure that you have this in place. So you have to be super precise for this to work. But as you can see here, let's try a different style. Hmm, okay, maybe that could work. See if we can change this to a brighter color. There we go. Okay, 
So you can see here, I've just gone in and I've stylized my heading, but to be honest, I'm not a fan of this. Let me just get rid of it. But of course the option is there if you wanna go in and customize it that way. So let's go back in and fix that. So I'm gonna go back into my heading text and uh, let's just keep it simple. There we go. All right, so now I just have my heading there. So I'm just gonna drag this paragraph text a bit closer so that it's just not too far away from my text. So as you can see, our text module is very versatile. You can go in and do you know, quite, quite a few um, designs with it. Now over here, I wanna do something, uh, something different. So I'm gonna duplicate this, drag it over here. And I'm also going to duplicate my heading and drag it over here to the right as well. So what we can do here now is we can also add some gradients to the background. So let's go into our row settings and go into the second column. Click on background and then I can start adding my gradient here. So you can see here by default, I have a gradient already. So I'm gonna go in now and add my second color. And with that now, I can adjust my angle like that. And now let's give this some breathing space by coming over here to design spacing and we're gonna set this to about, let's say 30. Let's do this a bit different this time. Right, there we go, 30. Okay, so as you can see already, that's looking really, really, really nice. So let's go back over here and adjust our angle one more time. So I'm gonna go with that, I think. I think that looks better. Okay, so now that we have our background all sorted, let's go in now and change our colors. So here, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna make it white. So I'm gonna drag this all the way up here to white, save that. I'm gonna do the same. Come over here to design. Let's go to our text and set this to white as well. Now, the reason why I'm using white here is because I really want things to stand out. I mean, my text to stand out from the background. So this is why I am using white. Okay, so as you can see, that's looking much better. You know what? I might as well go in and give this, you know, the equal padding here. So I'm gonna go to design, spacing, and let's set this to 30 all around, just so that it's the same with the other one. There we go. So these are our text modules. Now we can even go a step further and add an image to the background of our text module. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. And this time I'm gonna go with a single column and let's just duplicate this and drag it into position. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. Now, of course you can't see it because my text here is white. So now if we go into our row settings, we can now go into our background and let's add an image. So the image we're gonna go with here is, perhaps we can go with that. So straight away you can see now our background is now showing our image. Next, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna give this some breathing space. So let's head over here to spacing. So let's go with 40 because this image here is slightly bigger, right? So we may even increase this to, okay, let's go with, how about we say 100 all sides? There we go. Oops, that's not 100. Okay, there we go, so that's 100. So that's our image there in the background. So what we can do now is we can either make our background dark and still show the image, or we can you know, do the flip side. We can have the image looking very light and the text dark, but I'm gonna go with the dark version. So now on my row settings here, I can go in my background and I'm gonna add my gradient here. So I'm gonna click here and add my first color. And I'm gonna go with this really dark gray. Click here on my second color. And this time I am going to add some transparency to this. Okay, so we're not done yet. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my image tab. And this is where now we're going to change our blending mode to multiply. So you can see there right away, just by adding multiply, 
this now has uh, changed my design altogether. So back over here now, I can play around with my gradient direction. So as you can see here, I can have my direction coming from whatever side that I want to. So there we go. That is pretty much our design. So just by using your text module and backgrounds, you can achieve really exciting uh, designs here. All right, so that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.